G'day all, I'm Sharpie101 and welcome back to another drone tutorial. Today I want to be triggering up my minefield drone on two separate flight paths, one to drop its mines at set GPS points, and another flight path on a separate remote block, that's right, two remote blocks on this drone, to then fly through the tower and rebuild itself, ready and waiting to be re-triggered once more. So, with that being said, let's get stuck into it. So here we are with my minefield drone I'll be using to explain everything and more, hopefully that you may not even know about. Let's get into the timer block activate to send it on one of its two flight paths with two remote blocks. That's right, two remote blocks, before we actually go any further. So all of the timer blocks I'm explaining now are on the drone itself, and there's a specific reason for that, for the fact it does not matter what orientation or order you put these in for the fact it will always have the ability to send that command. If this timer block to trigger the drone on its job was on the base itself, you would have to have this command right here to disconnect the drone from the base as its last command to make sure everything else is sent to the drone while it's connected to the base before disconnection. All right, since that's out of the way, let's get into actually triggering it all up and explaining a few things along the way. So let's press that button, that one actual trigger timer, and I pressed the wrong button. Let's lock to it by pressing Control Z, not Control X. It will fly to the first GPS I made, and it will change a couple settings. It will turn on the gyro you see here on the mine, turn on and open those parachutes, as well as make sure that the batteries, the gun, etc. are all on, just for redundancy sakes, but at the same time it will turn off this merge block, you'll see in a second, just like that, to inevitably drop that payload. Once that's all done, it will fly back to the dock, just above it with that dock approach, and then fly straight down onto the dock and start that secure dock timer from part two. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you do after this one, as let's get into that timer block right now. What it will do is make sure both of the autopilots are turned off as redundancy, switch those thrusters from on to off to save power, turn on those mine mergers back to on from being turned off from the disconnection, turn off the actual projector minefield for redundancy as well, as well as lock to the base and put a forward command back to reset the drone to its correct orientation. So, since that's all out of the way, let's trigger this up and actually reprint everything on this drone. So the button I just pressed there, button four, was practically exactly the same as that first activate or trigger timer I explained before, except it's on a slower flight uh, or slower speed from the other one and that's why I have this second remote. Also just make sure that one of these remote blocks has this has this selected otherwise you can't go into the remote block itself and control it directly. It doesn't know which one it is you want to control even though they're both pretty much above each other right above that connector to make sure that it can reconnect back onto the base itself. So as I was saying before, it will go from point A to point B, like I said in part one and part two. It will not fly in a straight line. It will fly in a high arc from point A to point B. I don't know why that is. It is just a game mechanic and it is what it is. So let's go over the top of this for the fact I have invulnerability on and let's turn creative mo mode off. So this is completely survival and this is what you would see in my survival series, so make sure you also check that one out as it's got a lot of goodies, a lot of drones, and a lot of automation in it. It's kind of like the lazy man's gameplay if you must. Here it will come down once building all the way up. Fantasteruni. Come down to the bottom with that GPS down here. Well the bot. As I said, it won't fly in a straight line, it goes up and over. So let's just move out of the way of that pole nice and easy. Here we go, it clears the welder tower so it can fly on its normal flight path. Come back over, as you'll see, to the minefield dock approach and then dock back down nice and simply. So let's get into here and just make sure that everything is going well. 
for the fact that this rebuild mine was exactly the same as that activate so we'll just go into it very quickly and explain as i said it does the exact same thing except it turns on that projector to make sure that it has the identical overlay in this projector to rebuild everything nice and easy so here it comes down just another note also if you've got one timer block that is set to trigger another timer block make sure you start the first make sure you always start the timer block that is set to trigger the, t the second timer block for the fact that it is much more stable and much more effective other than that apart from reloading this thing just like so just like so and just like so and then once more i can go back to pressing that button and it will do its job nice and easy Make sure this remote block or both of the remote blocks have their collision avoidance off, otherwise they can't dock or otherwise run into the connector to dock. And also the precision mode is on as you see right here. The precision mode is not also very important when it's on its flight path for the fact you only need both of those to be off or on when it is connecting to your base. Here we go, nice and easy. Once more, flies back over to the base. Locks up nice and easy. I can just go ahead and press the rebuild button once more. It will fly back up, rebuild, come back, and then once more, rearm it and re-trigger. As we sign off, if you like this tutorial or think I've missed anything, then please throw a comment my way as I'll be sure to add it in the next drone tutorial. As always, if you like my designs or want to know more, then check out the description below for all the download links and heaps, heaps more. I'd also really appreciate it while you were there to like and comment your thoughts as I will certainly reply. Stay sharp till then and thanks for watching as always.